Hi, right, Jason. Great to see you today. And as always, super super session, very productive. And towards the end, I think the penny had dropped, and you you definitely realised what sort of areas you've got to work on. The work you're doing with the dumbbell at the moment is very good. It does need to be altered slightly, and we'll come to that a little bit later in the session. If we take a little look at you on the far left of your screen. As you take the club back, there's still a tendency to drift that upper centre off to the right. So as we get into that top of the backswing position, the centre of your shoulders, if you will, or the sternum has just moved off. And we've got a little bit of an angle this way. And we talked about that's because partly you're trying to maintain your spine angle. If we take a little look at Colin Montgomery, we're going to see during his takeaway that that upper centre stays much more stable. And as a result, if we look here, there's less of an angle in the spine. Now, we showed you some still footage, and you sort of gradually started to realise that what's lacking here, if I put the yellow line in place, for you to get on the yellow line at the top of your backswing, you've got to feel like you're tilting to the left. And that tilting to the left is a continuous process during your backswing. It's a combination of extending or standing up and tilting to the left whilst turning, as we demonstrated for you on the range. If you can achieve that position, it's then much easier to extend through the hip area. So if we look at you with a dumbbell, there's definitely more of a tendency at the start of your movement there to left tilt. The left shoulder tends to work down. And then as you come through now, you get that nice extension. On this footage on the left, because you've moved off it a little bit, your first move down is a move back onto that yellow line. So you can see there's a move across and down. There's a loss of height as you start down. Now there's going to be a dividing of the elbows to prevent that club digging in the ground. Now you don't do it every time, but that, that, that elbows dividing move there and that lack of extension is because if we don't move back onto that golf ball or move back onto that yellow line, we're going to hit the ground behind the ball. So it's a preventative measure. Towards the end of your session, the key thought we gave you was to left tilt. Now, as you take the club back in this instance, we can see now that the left shoulder works down a little bit more. And at the top of your backswing, there's definitely a little bit more of an ability to stay on that yellow line, a little bit less drift off the golf ball. The better you can become at left tilting, the less tendency you're going to have to want to divide the elbows because they, you're eliminating any chance of hitting the ground behind the ball. In regards to your drill, when you're doing this drill, rather than continuously moving like we see here, what I'd like to see you do is do it from a standing start each time. And you're going to initiate the movement with a left tilt. You're going to tilt to the left and then swing through as though you're throwing the dumbbell over something. Tilt left and then swing through and extend. Overall ball striking is coming on a treat, Jason. The better you get at these two moves, the better you're going to hit it. In the meantime, just enjoy striking the ball well. You're doing a great job and I'm sure 2011 is going to be a great season for you. Well done and speak soon.